Let's go, baby. I'm all or nothing, no matter what. That one, that's hard. I'm either like 100% doing it or I'm not doing it at all. Rip it, whip that hand. <laughs> not having a middle ground has got me into some trouble over the years, but has also allowed me to come through the other side to have a story and to have kind of a game plan to help other kids that I'm seeing going through the same struggles that I went through. When I turned 13, during summertime, I'm like at the beach in San Clemente with all my friends. So they know like, what are you doing this weekend? I'm like, I'm skating an X game. That day I was locked in. I was just locked in and I won, which was crazy. It was gnarly for me, but that's what changed my whole life. There we go, get that control on the way down, beautiful. It's been such a wild ride and I feel honestly like right now I'm just tapping into like what my real and full potential as an athlete, as a dad, as a husband, as just like a contributing human being. Yeah, there it is. I want to be a very athletic dad because my kid right now is going to give me a run for my money for sure. <laughs> I like going home being like knowing that I did the utmost that I could do that day and I'm sore. Sore for me is like, feels alive. I survived a session with John. Such a Capricorn thing to say. <laughs> a look at my life, everything involved skateboarding. There was not a point of my career where I abandoned skateboarding to do something else to be famous. I was never chasing fame. I was chasing the obsession of skateboarding and the feeling of skateboarding. But dealing with the hate, dealing with the hate was gnarly because I wanted to check out. Wherever I went, they wanted to try to fight me. I don't know why, but that's what that kind of like quick fame created. There's things I still deal with for sure, but at the end of the day, I also know like, we all start skateboarding at the same exact place. Whether you're a contest skater, street skater, skater for fun, we're doing it because there's a feeling. Good. My body has been completely broken, but it's always healed. As fast as you can, 20 seconds. I think I broke 12 bones, you know, left elbow, right elbow, right ankle, left ankle, and my back, MCL, ACL. And currently right now I'm recovering from a completely rebuilt big toe. If it was my middle toe, I would have cut it off, but I need my big toe. With all that being said, my drive to skate and my obsession to skate is at an all time high. I'm just trying to skate. <laughs> I love the shoe game. I love being a part of creation, you know, like creating something that might not have been seen before or something that can improve an athletic ability or something that can improve a workout. To be real about it, we have one shot. If we start from zero, we can make it. We can make it to 100. Dream, plan, hustle, repeat. You don't have to be built into a box that has no exits. With skateboarding, with sport, with training, with faith, it's all about a feeling. I'm just chasing a feeling. I just don't want it to be mundane. Life is short, and if I'm just going about it being lazy, I'm not doing a service to anybody.